good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are, whenever you are watching this. Just want to update everybody on what I got. You know, I know it's been a while since I posted a video or even posted anything, but I'm waiting on parts, waiting on my bearings, waiting on main studs due to COVID. Production on parts has been slowed down, shipping has been slowed down, so in natural progression, it slowed my build down. I don't want to take the block to the machine shop and have him waiting on the main studs so he can line home the block. It'd be kind of stupid. You know, it'd be wasting his time. You know, it won't waste my time because I'm stuck waiting regardless, but it'd waste his time when he can go on and do other things where he's got all the parts. I've used him for years. He's a good guy. I know he'll do it for me, but I don't want to hold him up. But I want to update you guys on what I've got for the car, a few changes here and there. Um, I'm thinking about going more towards a time attack you know, track oriented car, but still able to get on a quarter mile and have fun. But it all comes on what happens with the progress and getting things going for this build. You know, as parts come, more videos will come out, be driving it, doing things here and there. But hey, it is what it is. But continue watching. Thank you guys for watching and all my subscribers. Just share this, like, subscribe, let everybody know. I'm not the best, but hey, just enjoy the ride. All right, so we're gonna start with some good stuff, you know, the meat and potatoes, the thing that supports the bottom end to make the power I wanna make. You guys know what these are. Mainly rods. Nothing special. But you know, gotta make some power. And I got the H Tough series. Well, you guys can see that. There it is. I'm gonna take them out of the bag, but hey. On to the next thing. Got some new piston rings. I know I said I was gonna use new pistons, but there's nothing wrong with the pistons. So I just got new rings, so I'm going to re-ring it and put it back together and make it work. And also, I got new main bearings, miles of the OEM main bearings and a new thrust washer. Alright guys, I'm going to show you what's new to the build. Nice Ram Fab orange intake. Nice clean black stuffy look. The math is on the bottom, so it gives you that nice clean look as well. He offers it on top or bottom, you know, if you, upon request. And if you notice, I don't have the valve cover breather on here. He'll ask you if you want to get it on or off. He makes it with it out it, without it. And then there is the nipple for your boost controller. Now they're super affordable. He ships them out really fast when he's got them in stock. You know, hit them up. For all you guys that don't want to wait on HTP or anybody like that, you know, you want a custom color. You know, this guy, so far, nothing but good things to say about him. You know, obviously it's just an intake though, so there ain't too much I can really say. Um, he does not offer it with the turbo coupler or the air filter. You know, you have to get the air filter and the coupler yourself. But when you're trying to make power, you know, there's a lot of things you know you gotta do yourself. It is what it is. Um, hit them up, you know. Like I said, it's Ram Fab Fabrication, super cool dude. No issues, you know, great communication, good customer service. You know, he's gonna ask you a few questions here and there. And like I said, super, super affordable intake. You know, you, we're all trying to make power and do it. Why not support the little guys who are trying to support this platform? We don't have too many supporters for the Mazda Speed community, so hey, as I see it, support the guy. It's worth the money. And as some of you notice, the problem child is sitting there. Uh, it's been sitting there for a good minute. It blew a fuse and the car wouldn't start. I got that problem fixed as far as you know replacing the fuse and get it started. 
But now I have to find the electrical draw, which is more than likely why the fuse popped. So coming in a video real soon will be me checking this thing out. Checking to see what's causing the draw and trying to fix the problem. You know, I'm not the best at electrical, but hey, you, you got to start somewhere. Unfortunately, I'm starting with this car. I really don't want to start with this car. I, I really don't. But <laughs> it is what it is. You know, that, that's the problem child. You know, it, nothing's going right with this car. Another news, he's also wants to, instead of doing a JMF version 2, he's thinking about doing the cork sport, port injection intake. We'll see, we'll see. He wants to do a lot of things, you know. But thank you guys for watching this little update video. Leave a comment below. Any suggestions on what I should do with the build, you know, make it a full track car or, you know, do some things in Mexico or just, you know, have fun at the drag strip. You guys let me know, but thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, share the videos, you know, and you guys out there, just be safe.